sub-freezing start to your Thursday. The good news, it's going to be short-lived. Storm Team 4 tracking a late-week warm-up. Not just freezing. Sub. Sub. We did sub. sub. Good morning, everybody. 4 a.m. right now on this Thursday. It's November 19th. I'm Michael Gargiulo. I'm Darlene Rodriguez. Sub. Sub. Lawrence Gallus tracking roads and rails. First, Storm Team 4's Marie LaRosa is here with those weather headlines. Good morning. I don't know if it's a coincidence, Darlene, but we went up two degrees when you came into the studio. Okay. Now we're 32 <laughs> at Central Park, so we're right at freezing. But when you look at the 20th, it is flowing this morning. What's going on, Lauren? Not too much out there. Maria, good morning, everyone. Uh, if you are headed out, there is a road closure in New Jersey. 206 completely shut down be in both directions between Laurel Drive and Flanders Net Cotton Road. That's all because of an accident with down wires in the roadway. Otherwise, it's construction out there. You have the inbound Holland Tunnel closed until 5 a.m. They are doing that road work. So stick with the Gothels Bridge or the Lincoln Tunnel if you have to get uh, into New York in the meantime. Michael, over to you. Okay, Warren, thanks very much. Happening today. Wires. So could be out there for a while. Uh, usually takes a while to clean up wires. Uh, over on the Turnpike Extension, you have some road work out there. Earlier it was causing a bit of a delay. Right now things seem to be moving a little bit better than they were, but you have one lane closed in both directions. And then over on the inbound side of the Holland Tunnel, that tube is still closed. You do have road work at the Lincoln Tunnel and GW Bridge as well on the inbound side, but they're moving along without a delay. And then over on the BQE, you have construction on the westbound side of the road this morning heading into uh, the Kent and White Avenues exit, which is exit 31. Uh, alternate side of the street parking rules, they are in effect this week, so if Thursday's the last day listed on the sign, make sure you move your car. Darlene, over to you. Thanks so much, Lauren. 418 right now. Christmas tradition is back this year. The Charlie Brown holiday specials will air on television after all. That's one of my favorite scenes from the show. Our uh, Peanuts fans were outraged last month <laughs> when Apple TV Plus announced the holiday classics can only be watched on that streaming service. Now, while the great pumpkin never made it to broadcast television this year, a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving and a Charlie Brown Christmas will air thanks to a deal between Apple TV and PBS. So the specials will be available for free on Apple TV Plus during certain times around each holiday, and you can watch it on, on PBS. They did the right thing. They certainly did the right thing. They did, because people were outraged. I know, because what's Christmas about watching the, you those You have things? to, yeah. And of course, we should point out, um, Warren and Darlene, I think, were both Lucy. No, and as pred you were Lucy, no, too, right? No, I was they were Linus. Oh, you I, I wasn't even here the day you did that quiz, and I needed to do it when I got back from vacation. She so. was Linus. And I no was... surprise, Maria LaRosa was Sally. I know, what a cutie pie. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite description was, you're not overly ambitious. <laughs> <laughs> it was, yeah, it was. It was like, and that's Where okay. You know, I wasn't Linus. I was Schroeder. I can't oh, be Linus. I mean, oh, Linus. I'm sorry. That's, that's a 4:26 a.m. brain fart right there. Schroeder. Brain fart right there. Schroeder's like a genius. Yeah. Isn't he? Like an artistic <laughs> piano genius or yes, something. Yes. This much is what, better. what matters today. <laughs> this is what matters in life. I love it. All right. Let's uh, show you right now. We have some clear skies. Stop. Warmer than yesterday, 47 by about dinner time. All right. I can't believe I was going to own Linus. Like, come <laughs> on. Schroeder, yes. yes. Subways, you can't. There's no subway service until 5 a.m. Uh, they are still being cleaned. And if you are trying to get uh, on the path trains at 9th Street and 23rd Street, those stations are being cleaned as well till 5 a.m. But Metro North, LIRR, NJ Transit, and Path are operating on or close to schedule at this hour. Darlene and Michael, back to you. Okay, Warren, thanks so much. So had Rob. Good morning, Maria. Good morning, everyone. Uh, a little while ago, 206 was closed in both directions out by Flanders Net Kong Road with an accident uh, with down pole and wires. That all cleared out, so that's good news. You still have an accident on the New England Thruway southbound approaching Fenimore Road that takes out a lane, but it's not causing a delay. And you have construction out there on the BQE. This is on the westbound side, heading into Flushing Avenue around exit 30. So Good morning, Ray. Good morning, everyone. A lot of the accidents that were on the roads cleared already, but a new one just came in. Uh, so this is a live look heading into the Verrazano Bridge here, coming off the Gowanus. It's the ramp. Uh, they are saying that there is an accident that blocks two lanes out there. Uh, so delays are building. Again, this is coming from Brooklyn uh, to the Staten Island bound upper level of the Verrazano Bridge. So avoid that if you can. Leave yourself extra time. You can see it's just jammed up through here. Then we'll take a live look. Okay. Image. 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 Image place that slows down first, so most of you are in for a very nice ride is what that means. Alternate side of the street parking rules are in effect. Michael, back to you. All right, Warren, thanks very much. Four people were hurt in the park.
It's emergency track maintenance that causes suspension on the L train uh, out there between Lorimer Street and Broadway Junction. Service has resumed. You can expect some delays in both directions though, as they get back on track. Heading over the roads, an accident just came in on the Palisades Parkway southbound approaching exit 10 on uh, New City, Nanuet. So delays are building pretty quickly out there. But in better news, we'll take a lot of look outside. If you're headed to the Lincoln Tunnel, you can... Pandemic. Marilla Rosa is here with the forecast. Ever since you said before that it's feeling dry and we may need some more hand lotion, I can <laughs> totally feel itchy. Right, a little thirsty too, a little yes. parched. Yeah, stay hydrated. It's one of those ways on the roads. There are a couple of problems. Heading over to the Cross Island, you have a crash northbound approaching the Grand Central Parkway, so you can see the live picture here. It takes out the right lane. Those delays are almost back to the Southern State Parkway. Then heading over to the George Washington Bridge on the outbound upper level. So heading into New Jersey, you do have a stalled truck out there uh, that takes out a lane. It looks like they're starting to move it off the span, though. So stick with the lower level for now. Inbound, this is not causing too much of an issue, so you're still in for a pretty decent ride. Darlene, back to you. Thanks so much, Lauren.